Rasmussen, pollster and editor-at-large for Ballotpedia, and John McLaughlin, Trump 2020 campaign pollster. All right, Scott, let's start with you. That is a pretty significant shift among Democrats. What's driving it? Well, look, I don't like to get hung up on any one poll, but all the data, not just that CNN poll, are showing very clearly that Republicans have won the impeachment debate. Uh, Democrats are frustrated because things aren't going anywhere. We were told a couple of weeks ago that to grow. Republicans were going to come on board. Now the numbers are shifting back the other way. And Democrats and everybody else is aware the president is not going to be removed by the Senate. Um, and in fact, probably the most significant finding of all, or the, the most significant data point of all, is not even in a poll. We're sitting here talking about Democrats who are now at risk for their reelection because of voting for impeachment. That wasn't the way this was supposed to work out. Uh, the writing is on the wall. Republicans won the impeachment battle. Uh, John, that's pretty definitive for my old pal Rasmussen right. here. Uh, but uh, Jeff Tubin is a revered CNN mm -hmm. legal analyst. He has a real problem with this poll. Watch. I don't believe that poll for one second. What part don't you The 90 to 77 percent. I, I, you know, it, it, it's just I don't believe it. Like, it makes no sense that that number would change like that. Well, Life has shown us that polls are sometimes wrong. That poll is wrong. Just because I said wow. so, okay? Yeah. But boy, when Fox had a poll out that right. showed uh, <laughs> Trump says it's wrong, you know, when the Fox poll is bad. But I mean, it's not just that poll. Scott is oh. making the point. This is you're interviewing voters in Wisconsin four weeks ago, three weeks ago. They're like, can we guys talk about health care? I mean, we're sick of this Ukraine thing. Right, right. Because those bad media polls are getting bad for them. Every one of the polls that came out today, whether it's CNN, ABC, Quinnipiac, they all under poll Republicans. Can you believe it? They all had less than 30 percent Republicans. Well, we were 33 percent on Election Day in 2016. So they can't believe that the polls that they rigged are actually going against them because after two weeks of hearings, uh, uh, they, they bored the country to death. They came up with no evidence, no proof. And all they proved was that Donald Trump is innocent of everything they're saying. And this is a railroad. It's all politics. And the country's tired of it. They want to move on to other things. We produced the, uh, the, the campaign, the Trump campaign through Tony Fabrizio produced a poll in the 30 districts that Democrats now hold because one switched. We already got one that came to game a Republican because of this. But in that poll, 53 percent opposed the impeachment, only 43 support, and they said their Congress, yeah. member of Congress, only 36 percent said deserve re-election. So they're big at risk, and this is backfiring big time. All right. So I think, uh, Scott, they, they hear Porosh.